Welcome back friends. Today is April 4th, 2024 and the lawn care season in Michigan is going to start in about two to three weeks when we first start smelling that fresh cut grass. Today I have a brand new item from Echo for this lawn care season. It's their three bay battery powered backpack blower. So you can run it with any of the Echo 56 volt E-Force batteries, but you can also take one out and it can go on only two. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about this right here and who I think it's best suited for. So let's get this started. So this backpack blower is offered in a tool only version, or you can get it in a kit and that includes two five amp hour batteries with a rapid charger. I know the time to charge these is under an hour. I'll just show you that slight delay. And then the turbo. So as I mentioned, 795 CFM, and it's also rated at 25 Newtons. So this is going to be really good, I think, for your daily leaf cleanups in the fall and the real heavy leaf cleanups. This is going to help out, but you may want to consider going to gas if you really want that ultimate power for those wet leaves especially. So things that are important to me with a backpack blower is having nice padded shoulder straps. This looks really nice. I like that nylon mesh right there. It looks like it's nice and breathable. And then you have this that goes across your chest in case these slide off. Sometimes if you're wearing like some kind of a jacket, it's a little bit slippery, like in the fall or a vest, then these tend to want to slide off that. So it's nice to have this as an option right here. And then it's adjustable down here as well to give you that ultimate comfort. In the back right here, nice and padded. So I was looking to see what the decibel rating is on this. I didn't see anything right off hand, so I'm going to test it for you. And one of the things when I'm running outdoor power equipment, I always have eye protection and hearing protection if it's really loud. You may not need it with this because I'm thinking the dust bowls is going to be much less than a gas powered one. So let's uh, turn the dust bowl meter on right here. Okay, so we're running about 85, 86 dust bowls from about three or four feet away. So now you're probably wondering how loud a gas backpack blower is. Well, hang on, I'll show you. All right, so we're getting up to 109, 110 decibels on that. Okay, so I have a crane scale. We're gonna get the weight of this right here first without any batteries. All right, it looks like 16 pounds. We're gonna go ahead and put two five amp hour batteries in, see what kind of weight we have. 24, and we'll put the eight amp hour in. Now we are at 30 pounds. So this is probably one of my favorite Echo backpack blowers, the PB770T. So I've ran this one for several years doing lawn care, just that daily work, it just works really well. So I really never weighed it, so it's, it's gonna be interesting. So we are at, keeps going up, 24 pounds, 25. All right, so well, at least now we can see when you're running the two batteries, they're not too far off between the weight of gas versus battery. So after walking around with this battery set up right here, I'm thinking I'll probably, for the most part, just try to use this with the two five amp hour batteries. It just seems to get to be a little heavy when you put that third battery, especially the eight amp hour. But if you need that extended runtime, I would have to say so far the shoulder harnesses right here, the pads seem to be quite comfortable. Yeah, I'm happy with it. All right, so I have a few different places where I'm going to show you this backpack blower working. First is some commercial type setups along some curb cleanup, and then I have some sidewalk cleanup on a residential site. So let's check that out. And then I have some cool slow-mo at the very end of this that you really need to see. Okay, what do you think about this backpack blower? So check this out, if I just pull the trigger quick, 
you'll see it lights up. So I had three out of four bars right there and it's showing there's two lights right there. So bay one and bay two is where the batteries are at. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the big battery in bay three. We'll see what happens. Quick pull the trigger and you can see all three light up and then we have full power right there. So I think for the most part, when I'm using this, I'm going to have two five amp hour batteries that are spread apart like that. So the eight amp hour battery is quite a bit heavier. So instead of having that to one side, if I am gonna do extended runtime, I'll put that in the middle. So a couple other things for me to point out, this is a brushless motor. So you're gonna get more efficiency and longer life out of the motor. And then if you wanna adjust some comfort features, this knob right here turns so you can adjust the hand throttle control to your liking. And then as I mentioned before, these straps right here, these adjust, you get it custom to your size. So you're probably wondering what type of runtime you're gonna get with this. So let's say you have three of the five amp hour batteries like this right here, you're gonna get 26 minutes running it on the turbo. And if you're just running it on high, then you're gonna get 50 minutes. So this is the very first battery power backpack blower that Echo has launched. There is a possibility they could eventually expand on this to something a little more commercial, like exclusive for that. If they did that, then I think they would probably make a few changes, like putting a ring on the end right there, that wear ring, the metal ring, and then just somehow being able to harness some more battery powers. So that's something I would anticipate you might see a little bit later on down the road with as different technologies seem to improve. Cause it seems like every year there's something new. There's a pouch and then there's the tablets, batteries, and then, you know, who knows what's next. Graphene, that was one. So recently I've been trying to keep a mental list of all the positive things with a battery power backpack blower and it's kind of weird, just today I found another one. So I'll just share with you, I'm not sure, maybe I have eight to 10 items. So this is the very first thing, it may not be a big deal to you, but I noticed it today, the idea came to me when I was driving. There's a group of probably three or four guys with backpack blowers on doing the spring cleanups. And the one guy was turned like this and his other coworker was trying to pull start it for him while he was wearing it on his back. So that got me thinking, there's been several times when I'm out, doing some lawn care and the customer comes out and talks to me and then you have to like shut it off so you could actually hear each other, maybe talk about some plans or get payment from them or something like that. So then after they're done, then you have to set your backpack blower and start it. So the obvious thing when you're running with battery powered backpack blowers, you just let go of the throttle. And then when they're done talking, you just go ahead about your way. You don't have to pull start anything. Now I know Steel had one, which was a side pull. I never tried that, but that just looks like it would be kind of awkward on my shoulder. I don't know if I'd like that. So there's no air filters to have to change. There's no carburetors to, that can get gummed up and need to be replaced or cleaning. I did have one time, just one issue with the carb. That was my first backpack blower, a steel BR550, I believe. And I was using it every day, but somehow the fuel I used, I think I was using the steel HP stuff and it requires some carburetor work, so. I switched to Echo Red Armor, and believe it or not, I've never had problems with any of my gas backpack blowers since then. So another thing with this right here, it's a little more obvious on that gauge right there, how much life you have left. Sometimes you can see a little bit of fuel splashing down there, but you don't really know how much. And it's happened to me a number of times, I'm out trying to get that last driveway cleaned off and you can just hear it starting to sputter. I know if I turn a certain way that I'll get a little more, maybe like 30 seconds more life out of it. Sometimes that's just enough. But with this right here, I think you're gonna be able to keep better track knowing when to put a fresh battery in. Another thing, as I pointed out earlier in my testing is that it's much quieter. So you might be working in some type of community that might not allow you to start at a certain time in the morning. You could potentially start earlier if you had battery. That's something you'd have to look into. Also, it could be legislation. So if you're working in a state like California where they're prohibiting the use of gas powered equipment, you can get by with this. In cities, there's some places when you're working on rooftops, have you ever seen those lawns up there? You, they don't allow any gas powered equipment to go up in the elevators there, it's a fire hazard. So battery, again, is something you can use for that. So if you wanted to know the MSRP on this, got a couple options, 349 for the tool only, 699 for the kit, which includes two five amp hour batteries, the rapid dual bay charger, and this. So another benefit, when you go to store this in the winter time, there's no need to worry about fuel stabilization or running the fuel out or putting stable or something like that in it. 
So you can just take the batteries out, keep them somewhere room temperature I would recommend, and you're good to go. All right, so now I'd like to know your thoughts on this. You know, battery powered backpack blowers are relatively new to the market. So I'm curious to see if you have any questions on it or concerns. There's definitely some benefits to gas over battery, but in this video, I just wanted to make it kind of quick so you can see all the benefits of this right here. So one more thing to say, if you want to see some other Echo products that I recently reviewed, right up here is a short playlist that you can click on. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so right there and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when my other tour reviews go live. So that's it for now, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.